Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now on this episode of Food and the Single Guy, I'm gonna serve you some Christmas fish. Oh yes, the people have been asking, Amaru, are you gonna grace us with an end of the year Christmas video? I said, oh hell yeah, even though I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. Oh no, I don't. Not that I don't love the baby Jesus because Lord knows I love the baby Jesus and his mammy and his pappy. I simply don't love the commercial aspect of Christmas and the mandatory aspect of Christmas. You know, on the 25th we have to go to your family, on the 26th we have to go to my family. I don't like that type of stuff. To me, every day is Christmas. If I want to give you a gift on August 12th, I will do that. I don't need December 25th or 26th to, you know, gift you something. I don't like the whole commercial aspect of Christmas. That is one of the things that I really, really detest. And so I decided, and my family knows this, I decided, I think about 10, maybe 12 years ago, I said, you know what, I am done with Christmas. Um, you guys go ahead and celebrate Christmas to your heart's content. I am tapping the hell out. Okay, if I want to gift you something, I will go to the store and get you something. Okay, on December 25th, I just want to be left alone with a frozen pizza from the Kroger's. Okay, anywho. Now, don't let me put a damper on your Christmas spirit, okay? If you celebrate Christmas, go right ahead and enjoy it. Be safe, be happy, be merry. Don't overeat because it's not good for your waistline. Anyways, you guys, on this episode of Food and the Single Guy, I'm going to cook some fish. Oh hell yeah, yeah, while everybody else is cooking some deer and some venison and some turkey and some goose and some shrimp and some lobster and you name it, I will be cooking some wild sea bream. Okay, now I will be posting all the ingredients in the information box below the video for your convenience. So without further ado, let us continue. Okay, you guys, so this is my beautiful sea bream, which I have cleaned. I have removed the scales and the fins and everything. And if you've been with me since the beginning, you will know that in my country, whenever we cook fish or certain types of meat, we always clean the meat with some lemon juice or some vinegar or some sour oranges. And that is going to cut that raw fishy scent. All right, you guys. So the fish has been soaking in this basin of water with lemon juice for about five minutes. And if you've been with me since the beginning, you know why I do this, okay? Um, nobody wants to eat food that smells off-putting. And fish has a very pungent smell. And that is why we use some lemon juice or some lime juice, some vinegar, or even some tart oranges to get rid of that scent, okay, before seasoning it. And somebody posted a comment on one of my other fish videos not too long ago, and this person said, oh, that's bollocks. You don't need to wash the fish with anything. You just get it out of the sea and you cook it. Well, boo-boo, you go right ahead and eat your nasty fish, okay? Over here, we will use some lemon juice, boo-boo. All right, all right. Now let me go ahead and rinse the fish. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna season the fish with some sliced garlic, some scallions, and some galangal root, and this is what the galangal root looks like. It is sweet ginger, really. And normally it comes in one of these little containers, and as you can see, the label says galangal, but it's also called galanga, all right? I'm also gonna add some salt and some lemon pepper. And so the seasoning continues. We're gonna start with some salt, just like this. That should do it. We're gonna continue with the lemon pepper. Just like so. Generous amount. Next, I'm gonna stuff some of these slices of garlic into the body of the fish. Just, just like that. And we want to put a generous amount of garlic, especially in the head of the fish, all right? There we go. So next, we're going to stuff some of the slices of the galangal root into the fish. Just like that. And the sweetness of the galangal root is going to add such a delicate flavor 
to the fish. Trust me when I tell you. Now some people like to make cuts into the body of the fish. I don't like that because I think it makes for messy presentation. And you know me, presentation is everything. So I'm not going to cut into the body of the fish. All right. So next we have our scallions and I've washed them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to crush them just like so. And then we're going to insert them into the fish just like this. There we go. All right, beautiful people. So what I have here is my oven dish lined with some aluminum foil and we're gonna cover the bottom of the dish with some onion rings. Just like that. So basically we're gonna flavor the fish from the bottom up. And next we're gonna add the fish just like that ever so gently. So there we go. We're gonna cover the fish with the remaining amount of onion rings just like so. And some of the remaining slices of garlic and galangal root. And you know me, my food has to be flavorful. I don't like dull tasting food at all. There we go. Doesn't that look beautiful already? Oh baby, you have no idea. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna put it in the fridge to marinate for at least two hours. Let's have a look see at our delicious fish because it has marinated overnight. Oh yes, it has. Ooh, the aromas, it smells absolutely gorgeous in here. Look at my fish, you guys. Let me try to give you a closer close up of this bad boy. Honey, let me tell you. Okay, you guys, so this is the part where my camcorder turned on me. And it wasn't until I was getting ready to set up the next shot that I noticed that the memory card was full. I didn't hear any bleep, I didn't hear anything. But anyways, before you pop the fish into the oven, you wanna drizzle a generous amount of olive oil onto the fish and then pop it into the oven and then bake it for anywhere between 25 to 45 minutes, depending on the thickness of your fish. Because my fish was thick and juicy. Okay, so I had to up the cooking time, I had to up the temperature because nobody likes raw fish unless you're eating sushi and we're not cooking sushi on this video. All right, you guys, now let's have a look at our fish. As you can see, it is still steaming away nicely and it is smelling good, you guys. Oh, let me tell you. And I've also added some of these cherry tomatoes, which will make for perfect garnish. You know, presentation is everything over here. So let me go ahead and plate this feast and give you a finger licking serving suggestion. And there we have our delicious sea bream, you guys, still steaming away nicely, served with the baby pack choy and the cherry tomatoes. I am now going to sprinkle some of the um, juices that were generated while cooking in the oven, just like so. Now, if you feel adventurous, you may also add some of the rest of the onion and the garlic goodness on top. Of course, that is totally up to you. Now, one of the things that I always tell you in my cooking is that color makes everything a little prettier. So we are going to sprinkle some of the red, green, and yellow chili peppers on top of the fish. And there you have it, a beautifully garnished plate. Oh yes, baby, when I tell you it smells good in here, you gotta believe me. And there you have it, my dear people. Doesn't that look very Christmassy? Doesn't that look beautiful? And boo-boo, I can tell you that it was very delicious. And you know me, I'm very critical of my own food. I enjoyed it, my mother enjoyed it, and um, I would like to offer you some, but um, at this point, I can only offer you some fish bone. So in case you're interested, send me a fax or something. 
Anyways, my dear people, that concludes this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you will give it a try. And if you do, let me know how it turned out because I'm always interested in hearing from you. All right? I want to take this time to thank you for another year of support. I want to thank you for another year of fabulous, wonderful interaction for the most part because I do get my amount, my fair share of hatred here on the channel and on the other two channels. So to those that have interacted with me on a civilized level, I want to say thank you. Um, I want to wish you a wonderful, merry, happy, safe Christmas. Don't do anything stupid. Don't put a firecracker up your ass and light it and pretend to be a hero because you're not. You're going to end up six feet under. Okay? Don't do it. Anyways, happy cooking, happy Christmas, happy eating. Don't add crazy to the craziness, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys.